Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajaska Kasungura YouTube channel. A big thank you for your continued support. Thank you so much for those who are still sending their contribution towards supporting iPhone Kemuma. The lady who finished his exam in 2017 from Kiss University, but she has never since graduated. When you help, you plant a seed for your children, for your grandchildren, or for your generations. You help today, you plant good in your life. You support a needy case today, you plant good for your tomorrow. So I'm urging kindly, on behalf of iPhone Kemuma, I am requesting us to sacrifice our little cash. 1,000 if you are able, 2,000 if you are able, 10,000 if you are able, 50,000 if you are able. We help this young girl graduate and get her papers so that she can try jobs out there. And God will bless you so much, ladies and gentlemen. She has come to us. Let us not ignore her. Tumsaidia kile gidogo tukonacho. Aendele na maisha because tomorrow she will also help someone kwa sababu atakumbuka alisaidiwa. In life, nobody has ever made it to success alone. In one way or another, you got support from people and that is why you are where you are today. I want to give you three minutes. You watch this video and thereafter, I will come back for further opinions. You see, there have been quite a bit of innuendos uh, about Adani. And I've explained that this is a, a reputable company, by my knowledge. And this company actually has done very many PPP projects. I mentioned that uh, we visited India, the invitation of then Chief Minister of State of Gujarat, Narendra Modi. And he introduced us to several Indian uh, conglomerates. Sadani was one of them, and was Mitaratan Tata, uh, who was also there at the, the conference that we attended. And then we visited a project that was done uh, through a PPP by Adani in a place called Mundra. This was a, a marsh land next to the sea, 5,000 uh, 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 5,000 uh, hectares of land, which was granted to the Adanis by the government of uh, Mr. Modi. They drained the swamp and constructed a deep sea port to import coal from Indonesia. And then they put up a power plant, coal fired. 4,600 megawatts in that place. The Tata group then also came and put up another second power plant, another 4,600 megawatts, another, a total of 9,200 megawatts of power in that same spot only. Not only that, they also built a railway line, 100 kilometers to connect that port to the major ne ne railway network. A sleeping village of 5,000 people mushroomed to become a small town of 200,000 people as many industries rushed to go and invest in that place. They also built an airport in, in, in that same, same, same place. Uh, this was a real success story of a PPP. And then also the Bombay airport, which had been fly infested international airport when it was given through PPP they took it over and converted it into a very modern a first class airport today it is today the same thing with the airport in Delhi so what I'm trying to say is that we've seen firsthand what some of these companies are able to do what PPP can do uh, uh, to an, an economy. And therefore what I'm trying to say is not to try to ostracize PPP as a concept. It's a concept that has worked very well 
around the world. And I'm only saying that there need to be transparency in dealing with these issues. Otherwise, you're likely to try to condemn very reputable companies. As we see stories like Adani Gate. Adani, Adani company conglomerate is worth over $200 billion. It cannot be an Adani Gate. De deal with the issues as they are. If some people have made mistakes, let them own up that they made some mistakes. But do not begin to condemn innocent companies who are basically doing a normal commercial transactions. Kenyans, I hope you listened keenly and you got it well. From that video, Ryla is confirming confidential information. We have been discussing the issue of Adani in darkness. We have been saying, oh Adani, oh Adani, in darkness. But today, Raila Odinga has decided to lay bare what is going on. Number one, in that video, Raila confirms he severally met Adani officials in secrecy. He has confirmed himself from that video. Number two, Raila confirms that he has visited Adani projects, several of them, including the one that was built beneath the sea, which he has disclosed. So from today onwards, as a Kenyan, you know your position. I don't want to, spec to speculate anything. We have been killing Ruto because of Adani. We have been crucifying Ruto alone on the Adani issue. To Masema Ruto is auctioning our country. Little did we know Raila was part of the negotiations. The decision for Adani to take over JKIA was negotiated with Ruto and Raila jointly and they agreed. Raila has confirmed himself. Juzi, the Minister of Energy, signed a 95 billion deal with Adani to construct some power lines. We have been crucifying Ruto. That deal has been given a green light by Opio Wandai because Raila was part of the negotiations. I know. In this platform, I have Raila diehards. But let me tell you the reality. We should begin to change our narrative and say Raila and Ruto are auctioning Kenya to Adani. But there are those who could say Raila is always right. Hmm? Raila has fully endorsed Adani and said Adani qualifies to be given JKIA for a period of 30 years. Raila has told Kenyans Adani qualifies to take over Kenya power for a period of 30 years. So ladies and gentlemen, why are we fighting William Ruto? Yet, these are joint auctioneers. Why should Gashawa go as one and leave the others in government 
and we think they are holier than thou. Huh. Ladies and gentlemen, if we are to rescue this government, and I want to say this without fear of contradiction, Kenyans of goodwill, if we are to rescue this country, there's one thing we must do. An overhaul in the Kenya Kwanza government. Serikali yote ya Kenya Kwanza na vikaragosi vyake. Waende. Iyo ndiyo tu tutasaidia Kenya hii. Lakini tukisema tunatua agashawa ati ndiyo tukomboe taifa At any point, I never thought Raila could be involved in this Sudan issue. I never thought. But thank God, he has come out so clear today. And now, as a Kenyan, I have been telling you, these guys are political cousins. Whatever that benefits them, they will fight for it. But whatever benefits you, as a citizen, they will fight it. So you come on, Anelo, let me repeat. These politicians, whatever that benefits them, they will fight for it. But whatever that, fight, whatever that benefits you, the electorate, they will fight it and try to kill it. Now as a Kenyan, from this, you know where you stand. You know your space, you know where you belong, and you know who is your true defender. <laughs> anyway, God bless you. See you in the next video, ladies and gentlemen. Asante Nisan.